are shaping the lives of many populations, transcending national borders and cultures. For instance, the ongoing novel coronavirus outbreak is a serious crisis we have to face head on. It entails urgent cooperation and coordination among our leaders and the international community. It requires us to act swiftly to minimize its impact, most especially on our most vulnerable sectors. During these extraordinary times, we are called to embrace the collective responsibility of safeguarding the well-being of our peoples and direct our efforts to concrete and immediate action. Ladies and gentlemen, the problems we face today are vast and complex, and they require effective and long-term solutions. If we are to succeed in creating stronger democratic institutions and instilling peace in our communities, then we must find new avenues to empower the ordinary man on the street. We must learn to listen and give each one a seat at the decision-making table. Power sharing is at the very heart of effective governance. Today's gathering is an important step in rebuilding a new brand of leadership and democracy for the world. Today, we dream together of a better and more peaceful world. A world that cradles those who are brave enough to stand up against abuse and corruption. A world that, that does not tolerate exclusion and discrimination based on one's race, color, belief, and gender. A world that does not stifle the voice of truth and dissent. This is the brand of leadership we want to sustain in the coming years. This is the legacy we want to build and pass on to the new generation. And together, let us work hand in hand for democracy to flourish in our lands. During his inaugural address in 1946, another Filipino president, Manuel Rojas, reminded us, reminded us about the growing need for constant dialogue and collaboration among different nations. Addressing a country recovering from the horrors of the Second World War, he said, and I quote, As we go forward in our full faith to work out the destiny of our land and our people, we must cling fast to one another and to our friends across the seas 